Hi everyone, so if you want to learn how to create this cute little ghost animation on Autodesk Sketchbook, then keep on watching this video. Alright you guys, so before we begin, I just want to quickly explain you guys the whole animation. So what we're doing here is, let me just pick up a pencil or something and just explain you what we're doing right here. Basically what we are going to do here is we are going to move this ghost upwards like this, in this direction. We are also going to be changing its expressions as well from this happy expression to an angry expression. We are also going to be changing the shadow of the ghost because as we move the ghost in this upward direction the shadow is actually going to become larger and larger and as he moves downwards the shadow is actually going to become smaller and smaller if that makes any sense we're also going to be adding some elements right here i'm just going to quickly show you that these little uh, current electric current kind of thing i don't know what to call it so don't judge me on that so that's uh, something we are going to create as well so i'm just going to delete this layer i hope this was um easy to understand we're just moving the ghost upwards then downwards we are going to change the shape of the shadow the more it moves in the upward direction the larger the shadow gets the more it moves in the downward direction the smaller the shadow gets and also we are going to be changing its expressions as well and we're also slightly going to be changing this part of the ghost as well so now i'm going to delete this layer and I'm just going to show you all the frames I've created. So this is frame number one, frame number two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So what I have done here is, so frame number one and frame number two are similar. The only difference is, the shadow is the only difference right here. And also the lower part of the ghost as well. Frame number three has this little angry expression going on and these little electric thing kind of going on around his head. And for the angry expression, just cut down the circle in half in this diagonal position. And also instead of a smile, I gave him this little zigzag kind of mouth just to kind of um, pretend as if it's angry. So this is our third frame. In the f um, fourth frame, I just moved the ghost even um, upwards and I also changed these little electric things that you see and I also slightly, very slightly changed his mouth. It actually looks the same but I just slightly changed it. You can actually keep the lower part of the ghost just as it is. You don't have to change it. And the next frame is actually similar to the previous one so the both of these frames are similar to each other so the one thing which is um, different in every frame is the shadow it was smaller in the first frame then it actually started to get bigger all you have to do is you just have to create this first frame to be honest keep on duplicating this frame for the rest of the frames you have and just change the expressions and the shadow and also the little element that i've added in the third frame i will be providing you guys all these pngs um in, in a drive link so if you're a beginner and if you want to experiment with animation especially in a sketchbook these pngs are going to really help you so i'm going to be linking the drive link down in the description box below or maybe in, um in the comment section below just download those pngs import those pngs in the sketchbook and just learn how i did it so that way it won't be that confusing so once you're happy with the frames or if you have downloaded my frames to practice once you're ready with those what you have to do is start coloring it so because my rough sketch or the rough frame sketch was black in color what i did is i first changed the color of the sketch lines by locking the layer and just coloring over it like this with white color if you want you can just use the base sketch lines for the frames as just the base and then just you know draw over it with white color you can use your own colors whatever colors you like so basically the second step once you're done with the frames the main part of it all of creating a gif especially in sketchbook is figuring out the frames like in general when you are creating an animation finger it figuring out the um, frames and then you know really just implementing them is the first step and can be a tricky step if you are a beginner 
but once you are done with that everything else is just you know just coloring it and then actually making the final animation especially like on sketchbook i don't know how that works on professional animate animating softwares because i'm not an animator i'm not a professional animator i'm an illustrator and a graphic designer and sometimes here and there i like to animate stuff especially i like to try and use these free apps like sketchbook to see if we can actually create you know animations over there so that's what this video is about i already also have a video on a lot of videos on actually animations on sketchbook so i will link all those down below some of them are quite detailed so yeah check all those videos out so basically all in all you just have to start coloring the frames now it might seem as if you have to color a lot because we have seven frames right here that's why i said color one frame duplicate that first frame and adjust it according to the next frame using the sketch line sketch lines of the next frame use that as guides to guide you to make adjustments to that duplicated frame so all in all what we are doing is we are coloring this first frame with white color and with everything that we want and then what you want to do is you want to duplicate that first colored um, frame duplicate it and make adjustments according to the second frame so that so that you don't have to color it all from scratch okay i hope this is making sense that's how i did it so i'm not going to show you the whole process of me coloring the frames and actually creating the eyes the mouth because the design is really simple and also i am actually not going to give you 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 guys can see what brush i'm using I, i just don't remember what brush i'm using i think for the little electric things that i created i used sketchbooks glow brush I'm pretty sure you're familiar with that. Other than that, you can actually use any brush you like to fill the colors in because the design is really really simple. So yeah, that's that. Just like second step is really simple. Coloring the frames is really simple, especially if you just color one frame, duplicate it, and adjust it according to all the frames so that you don't have to do a lot of work in, you know, coloring all of the seven frames so once you're happy with all of your frames what you want to do is you want to um export each and every frame as flattened png or just jpeg if you want and save it on your device so for example if you're saving first frame just hide every other frame apart from first frame and then export it as png and save it on your device so we are saving them all as pngs or jpegs it's up to you just this is going to be the next step just save it on your device once you're ready with your saved pngs go to google and google jpeg to gif and pick up this option called ezgif.com and then upload all the frames right here on this website and then once you upload all your frames over here it's going to take its time to actually upload the frames especially if you have a lot of frames it's going to take its time to upload it just be patient and once it is done uploading the frames make sure you are reordering them according to the animation so make sure because it's just going to actually upload it and keep them all over the place you want to make sure they are in order um of your animation so so double check it and make sure that it's in the right order once that is done just i'm going to change the delay time for the gif to 21 the trick here is the larger the number the slower the animation the smaller the number the faster the animation so just keep that in mind while creating the gif I actually ended up changing the number to 15 because for me it was a little too slow even though it's looking really cute right now as well but I actually ended up changing it to 15 and at 15 it was um not too slow and uh, and also not too fast and it was just looking really really good so so that's that Once you're happy with the animation how you save it is you just pr long press on to the gif and you just hit save to photos and it's actually going to save the gif on your device as this gif file and here you have your final cute ghost animation. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did give this video a big thumbs up. If you do end up creating this gif then tag me on Instagram. I would love to see that. 
other than that i will see you guys in my next video